Now, one of the things that has puzzled conventional, uh, the conventional scientific community is not only do we have the mountain belts in particular areas, but they can't explain why the mountains have risen so recently to the elevations that we find them in. And on a slow and gradual process of millions of years, they would expect it to take a long time and it would be a longer scale process. But when we look at catastrophic plate tectonics, what's happening as the old ocean floor goes down, it's going to go down so rapidly, we're talking about metres per second movement. Mm. We're talking about walking pace movement rather than the, today we've got the, the, you know, the growth of a fingernail. That's the scale at which movements are occurring today. Per year. We're talking about walking yeah. pace, mm -hmm. these plates moving. What's going to happen? It's going to actually push down the margins as it's trying to sink. It's going to push down the margins of the continents. So what happens, this is where the mountains are forming or where you've got collision zones. And, and so what's going to happen, when the process slows right down, it's going to have start to have an opportunity to rise and it's going to rise very rapidly. And that's only in the, in the recent past. There's a whole list of, of problem areas that the conventional slow and gradual model for plate tectonics can't explain that catastrophic plate tectonics can explain. 